Join us now for Get Fit on ATMC TV Channel 3, bringing you the best of Brunswick. Hi, I'm Bob Tuja. I'm a fitness instructor and also a surf instructor. And we're here at the fitness studio in Ocean Isle Beach today. We're going to show you some of our Pilates moves, how it can be incorporated with surfing. Now, it just doesn't mean that you have to be a surfer or you have to do ride a surfboard. If you're into paddle boarding, it's great. Uh, if you're into just taking a boogie board out to the beach, same thing. Uh, it's, it's all based on your core strength and also your arm strength, arms and legs to paddle out there. So what we found out that you come down, if you either live here or you're on vacation and you want to hit the surf and all year you really haven't been working on any kind of your core or any kind of movements that directly related to, to surfing or being in the ocean, um, it impacts how much fun you're really going to have. So by adopting some Pilates moves into our surfing, it helps build our strength up. It keeps us conditioned during the year so that when we come down to the beach and somebody calls us up and say, hey, there's, we got some good waves today, you're out there to enjoy it, spend time, and really get a blast out of it. So what we're gonna do first uh, with, with our surfing is we're just gonna turn around, and you can either do this in your room, you can do it on a mat, any place, even on the beach is great. So we're just gonna come down right here, right to the mat, and we're just gonna come down and just lower ourselves right down to our abs. Okay, so just think of this mat as your surfboard. So we're gonna put our arms out in front of us, and legs are straight back, the head is hovering off the mat, so you're basically in a Superman position. We're gonna take our legs up, we're gonna bring our arms up. So right now the core is engaged, and we're gonna to start to move our hands up and down and our legs just like we're swimming. And we're gonna stop here. And now from here we're gonna take our arms, bring them out to the side, lift the chest. Come on down, lift. And lift. Just like you're paddling for a wave. So we're going to take a breath in, exhale out. Here we go. Okay, bring the hands to the side. Now from here, we're going to press up, extend it, stretching out. The, we're actually stretching out our back doing this, but then again, Say this is your board, you're on the board, you're either looking for a wave or you're going to go through a wave. So come back down. And from here, got to press up again. So from here, we're going to come down and we're going to do a couple of our push ups because what's also important is building up your arm shoulder strength to pop yourself up. So we're gonna inhale down, exhale, press up. So the back is nice and flat. Come on down, press up. Come on down, press it up. Come on down, press up. Come on down, press it up. Come on down, press it up. So we're gonna start out with doing 10 of these, which really helps. Now, come down to your hands and knees. <clears throat> Again, this is a movement that we use in Pilates, 
but it's also gonna help you build up your, your quads, your glutes. So we're gonna take, shift our weight over to the left knee so the right knee's floating. Take the right knee, we're gonna bring it out, press out the right leg, bring it in, and bring that right knee to that right elbow, kick it out, bring it in, kick out, bring it in, kick it out, bring it in, kick it out, bring it in, out, bring it in, out, and bring it in, come on down, shift sides so that we're gonna be well balanced. Again, left, le left knee's floating off the mat, bring it out, bring it in, touch that elbow to the knee. So we're really getting our, our, our quads, glutes, really working on this. And one more time, come on down. Okay, so that's gonna, that's gonna help build our lower part of our body up. Now, from the same position again, we're gonna come out into the plank position here. Now, what the plank position does, it helps us utilize our core. So right now, in this position, to hold it, you're utilizing everything that's in here. Your chest comes into play. So then what you wanna do, give yourself a little bit more of a challenge, you can walk your hands out, what they call extended plank, this is a little bit more challenging, but it's great for the body. And just hold it. You breathe into it. Start for 30 seconds. Work yourself up to a minute. Come on back and come on down to your hands and knees. <clears throat> so, that really starts to strengthen our core muscles here. We start to work on some of our lower, our glutes, our quads. Now, same thing from right here. Again, hands on the shoulders, come into the plank. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put that left foot over the right, drop your heel, press up, strengthening the toes, the ankles, the calves. So when you pop up on that board, here's where you're gonna generate the pop from. Bring the left down, put the right over here, press back, drop the heel back, press up, drop down, press it up, down. So you can really feel that on your calf, toes. Come on down and drop to your knees. From here, I just want you to take your hands out in front, drop your forehead to the mat, sit back over your calves, stretch out your lower back. So after you've been exercising for a while, this is good just to stretch out that back a little bit, get some pressure off your wrists. and just come back up here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna still work on some of that, on our core muscles, because the, in surfing to maintain your balance, uh, that's where your, your balance is generated from, it's right here, and you have to be balanced to do it. So if, again, from here, I want you to take, we're gonna take our right arm, bring it out to the side, Good to take a deep breath in. As you exhale, I want you to take your arm, push it underneath the left. Look at the wall on the side of you. So again, we're stretching, turning the upper torso. Come back up. Come on through. 
and bring that arm down. We're going to take our left arm, bring it out to the side, sweep it down, come back up, sweep it down and through, back up one more time, and bring our hands back down here. Okay, now the next one is we're going to look up at that mirror in front of us. Okay, I want you to drop down, head down, roll the back up, press the back up to ceiling. I want you to take your navel, pull it up. So you want to feel those, the abs right below the navel. Come back to start. And one more time. Down here. Okay, so we do that a few more times. That helps to build up that lower abdominal region. So we're gonna lower ourselves back down to the mat. And now this is all, it's just gonna be all core work in itself. So we're gonna put our hands right here by our back. We're gonna take our feet up off the, off the mat. Taking our hands, we're gonna pull them down, our back, reaching down, extending the chest straight up. Hold it and bring it back down. Inhale, exhale, pull, bring it up. Stretch it out, <clears throat> come back down. Pull your arms down, bring the chest up and look. Come back down. Bringing our hands by our side. Now from here, we're gonna bring push up into the plank position. We're gonna take our foot, no matter which way you wanna lead with the left or the right, okay? You're just gonna shoot it up here, just like that. Come back down here. So you're gonna do this, come back down. So it's up, come on down, here. Now we're gonna come up right from there Stand up, come back down. So one more time, pop it up and stand. And you're off and going. So that's a few of our Pilates moves that we incorporate into our surfing program. Uh, we do have a program that's called Surf Stronger. We utilize Pilates plus other uh, equipment just to help you make it become a better surfer. So once again, we are at a fitness studio, Ocean Isle Beach. Give us a call for more information or stop in to see us. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Cindy Black, owner of the fitness studio in Ocean Isle Beach. Today's fit tip. Flexibility is a very important component to healthy living. As we get older, we lose our flexibility, which causes stiffness and decreased range of motion. Adding stretching exercises to your day will allow you to move easier and feel better. You can perform joint specific stretches or engage in a yoga or tai chi class. Welcome to yoga class. My name is Sharon Brown and I teach here at the fitness studio in Ocean Isle Beach. I have yoga classes on Tuesday and Saturday mornings at 9.15. So please come and join us. Today we're just going to do a short session. We're going to do some ab work and a few standing poses, so we hope you enjoy it. So let's just start with our hands coming out to the sides and taking a deep, full breath, raising the hands over the head, reaching up to the ceiling. And exhale. Let's bring the hands just to the outside of the knees and folding forward from the hip creases, coming down and releasing head and neck down. And inhaling again, lifting up, raising the hands over the head, stretching upwards. And as we exhale, just bringing the fingertips to the backs of the hips, Pushing down into the hands and lifting the chest, 
rolling the shoulders back and looking up. And coming back to center again as we breathe in, lifting the arms up, and then bringing the right hand down to the mat and reaching over with the left arm, pushing down into the left hip. Breathing in again, lifting the arms up and bringing the left hand down, reaching over with the right, pushing down into the hips and feeling the stretch all along the side body. And let's reach up again, breathing in and exhale. Let's come all the way down. And stretching our legs straight out in front of us, flexing our feet. Let's breathe in again, bringing the hands all the way up, reaching up, and then folding forward from the hip creases, folding down over the legs, and just releasing the hands and arms at the side of the legs, trying to draw the shoulders back, and bringing the crown of the head forward, elongating our spine. And stretching the hands in front of us again, lifting up, and then coming all the way down. Okay. We're going to come into a position called Rock the Baby. We're going to bend our right knee and then grasping the instep with our left hand and just supporting the leg just above the knee, rotating the leg outward from the hip, and then drawing the foot into the chest, and then just holding the leg here, or if we can bring it into the forearm or into the crook of the elbow, just walking up onto the sit bones, and then wrapping the right arm around the leg, flexing the foot, lifting the chest up, and then gently rocking the leg back and forth, just like we're rocking a baby. And then releasing the foot, holding on to the instep again, and supporting the leg just above the knee, rotating the leg outward from the hip, and stretching the leg straight out, flexing the foot and pushing out through our heels. Just noticing if our legs are at a different length, as the hip has opened and extended. And then the opposite side, bending our right leg and grasping the instep, just rotating the leg outward from the hip, and then drawing our foot in towards the chest. And again, just holding the foot here, or if we're able, bringing the foot into the crook of the elbow, flexing the foot, and again, just gently rocking the leg back and forth, just tiny rocking movements. and then release, holding the instep and just rotating outwards. And let's stretch the legs straight out, flexing the feet, reaching the hands forward, inhaling as we lift the arms, and exhale, folding down once more, relaxing the shoulders down and drawing the head forward. And let's reach our fingers in front of us. Inhale as we lift the arms. And exhale, coming all the way down. Good job. And let's just transition coming down onto our backs. We're going to do a little bit of core work. Let's just draw the knees into the chest and just gently rock the hips back and forth. and then straightening our left leg. Let's hold the instep of the right foot with our left hand, and then draw the foot back into the chest. And then taking the right hand, placing it on the back of our necks, and taking a deep, full breath in, 
And as we exhale, let's lift the right leg, the left leg, sorry, and the chest. Crunching in and relaxing the neck of back against our hand, letting the core do our work. And as we breathe in, bringing leg and the chest back to the mat, and exhale as we lift again, crunching forward. And inhale, breathing the leg all the way down. And let's change sides, straightening our right leg and bending the left, grasping the instep with our right hand and then bringing the left just behind our neck. Deep, full breath in. And as we exhale, lifting leg and chest, coming all the way in. And breathing in, lowering down. And one more time, exhaling as we lift. Inhale, coming down to the mat. And let's release the foot and draw the knees back into the chest and gently rocking hips back and forth. Let's bring our hands clasped behind our neck, both hands behind the neck, and the feet, legs are bent, knees just directly over our knees or over our hips. And taking a deep breath in again. As we exhale, lifting the chest. And then trying to bring the left elbow over towards our right knee. And then straightening the left leg. Just coming into a nice, slow, controlled bicycle. Changing sides, straightening the right leg. Coming over to the left and holding. And changing sides again. And back to the left. And let's lower back to the mat. Knees into the chest. Gently rocking back and forth. And then dropping the legs back to the mat. And let's push ourselves back up to our seated positions. And breathing in again, deep, full breath, raising the hands up. Exhale, coming down. And then coming onto our hands and knees again, into our table position. And breathing in, sinking our spine down and looking up. Exhale, arching the back, drawing the belly in and looking back. And inhale again as we sink down. Exhale, let's flex the feet, lifting the hips. Into downward facing dog. Trying to push forward through our palms, drawing the belly in and lifting the hips. And let's just come up onto our toes and then push down and back through the heels. And let's look forward and step up with both feet between our hands. And bringing the hands on the shins, flat back, looking up, folding forward. And then bringing the hands all the way around to the lower spine, leading with our heart, lifting. And dropping the hands down to the sides. And let's breathe as we bring the backs of the hands together, lifting them up to the heart, and then turning to press palms together, touching elbows as we lift over our heads. 
Exhale, spreading the arms wide. And then pressing hands to heart center. Just coming to the front of the mat, stepping up. And let's step back with our left leg. Just coming back to a nice wide stance, about four feet. And let's straighten our front leg, bringing the arms straight out. Looking forward, and then just drawing the right arm slightly back into the joint of the shoulder. Let's come down into our triangle position, dropping the hand down to the calf or ankle, or down to the mat if we're able. And reaching the top arm up, trying to roll the shoulder open, broadening the chest. And let's lift all the way back up again, coming up to standing. And then rotating the back arm all the way around to meet the front. And then dropping both hands down to the mat. Standing head to knee. Just letting the head bow towards the knee. And lifting both arms all the way up again. And pressing hands to heart center. And let's pivot the feet forward. And then moving over to the left side. There we go, pivoting that left foot forward. The legs are straight. And let's open the arms straight out. And just drawing the left arm slightly back into the joint, bringing the hand down to wherever we're able, calf, ankle, or down to the mat. Rolling our shoulder open and reaching up. And then using that top arm, lifting ourselves all the way back up. And then rotating the back arm around to meet the front. Dropping both hands down. And letting the head bow towards our knee. And the arms straight out in front of us as we lift up. And pressing hands to heart center. Let's pivot the feet forward and step our feet together. Dropping our hands down. And then breathing, bringing the backs of the fingers together, lifting to heart center, pressing palms together, touching our elbows, following the hands up. And as we exhale, spreading wide, opening the heart. And one more time, backs of the hands, pressing palms and elbows, deep, full breath, lifting. Exhale, opening wide. And then pressing hands to heart center. Namaste. For more information on the fitness studio, you can come see us at 6741B Beach Road, next door to Roberto's, or call us at 575-0975. This is ATMC TV Channel 3. We bring you the best of Brunswick. Is 6.30 too early for a get fit workout? Are your weeknights too hectic to catch West Brunswick football? Find yourself missing all your favorite ATMC TV shows? Well, now you don't have to. ATMC TV is airing all their latest shows on demand. Stop, pause, fast forward, or rewind. Watch your shows on your time. Tune to Channel 1 to see shows like Get Fit, Tea Time, Community Spotlight, and more. Stay connected to beautiful Brunswick County with ATMC TV On Demand. 
brought to you free by ATMC.